Hey, I just got through drinking a La Marita and um uh, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. You already know what it is, man. I talk real talk with the world talkers. If you're a real talker, you gotta talk real talk with me. The world talker. I you will shit. Now you already know what it is, man. You already know what it is, man. She don't get you real in the building. Uh shout out ghetto neurovision the shit. And thank y'all, man, for letting me do my thing, you know, because y'all know how I get out. And if y'all want to, y'all can go check my uh music out on Young Israel, the Young Israel music page. Anyway, so I know y'all been hearing about this thing with uh this situation with the baby and the Rolling Loud um situation, his whole performance and stuff, which was uh, actually a- absolutely amazing. No cap. Y'all can uh y'all can y'all can cap like the baby ain't had one of the best performances, man. Just just like OG Product One Hundred said, shout out OG Product One Hundred. Like because the baby, come on, he's one of those artists that performed at the Rolling Loud. The Rolling Loud, like come on, like the Rolling Loud got like you know that they, they had to get a few artists, three to five artists or whatever. They had Young Thug and they had. The baby. So if y'all had both of those guys performing, I mean, they was on the, like, you know, probably top 10 or something, something like that. Hey, we need to get these top 10 rappers at the Rolling Loud performances. Uh, you know, y'all know I did the uh, reaction on uh, Lil Reese's and uh, Cheap, Keith's, uh, Cheap Keith's performance. Shout out to them niggas. Shout out to the whole Chicago, you know. As a matter of fact, shout out to the whole Charlotte, wherever the baby from. And... Atlanta. So look, man, I just feel like everybody need to get off the baby. Because if y'all okay, whatever the baby said, which I, I heard what he said, and I actually j- just went to go watch the clip again, like you know, hours ago, three or four hours ago. I heard it already, knew it wasn't about nothing. Nigga probably was how perks or something. Oh uh, well, you know. Some uh uh what that is 1942 whatever you niggas like doing in Hollywood. Not saying the baby just a Hollywood ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because why would him and Boosie be well? Why would he be doing this? Okay, anyway, so like I feel like they trying they just hating on the baby because he's one of those artists. Like I said, one of the main artists. Like like he do he do what he want, man. He do what he want, and that's what I didn't like about him at first. And at the same time, look. Not to make this video too uh too long, because I'm trying to make it short as I can. Don't y'all think y'all a little too late? Didn't the baby knock a, a, a female fan out on the accident, pretty much? He said it was like a reflex. He did it twice though. Didn't he uh didn't he knock a uh knock a, or still off on the fan and then got his bodyguard who's not his bodyguard no more because they say something about the baby owe him ten thousand. I don't know, man. Maybe they had like a little relationship where you know, anyway, look, the baby did so much. He did like a lot of bad things, man. It made me kind of like not like him at first. I like the baby so much now. As a matter of fact, shout out to Tory Lanez. You know, him and the baby got the song uh, Scat, Scat or whatever it's called. That shit goes so hard. Look, though, I got so much respect for the baby now. And back in the day, it, I didn't have too much respect for him. You know why? Because he was doing a lot of lame stuff and nobody wasn't saying anything about it. Now, years later, when he's all successful and pretty much the, one of the best artists in the uh, music industry or rap uh, game or whatever y'all want to call it, now y'all want to give this guy a hard time because he's being real. You heard what that DJ said after that. He said real. And did the Rolling Loud Festival, did they turn his mic off? You had to, you got to look to the to the side, both sides like DJ Academic is probably up and down. No, they did not turn the mics off. You know why? Because we, the babies was one of their most valuable performers. It don't matter if he didn't put on the amazing show that he did put on at the Rolling Loud Festival. I mean, for Rolling Loud Festival, like he no, nobody was gonna stop nothing he was doing. So pretty much, okay. LGBTQT uh, community. See, I see I got to edit this. 
look, y'all. The baby know that it was like uh, probably the majority of y'all was probably you know banging that gang. So why and then y'all coming? He come y'all coming y'all coming to see other artists, but y'all mainly coming to see the baby and Young Thug. Come on, let's not cap. And it's a lot of other artists who did their little thing. Like I said, Chief Keith and Lloris. And why would he uh, try to offend you guys? We're not gonna play that game. We're gonna get the baby. A, 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 a break, all right? And guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Louis uh, Dua Lipi, Dua, Dua Lipa, Dua, Dua Lipi, Dua Lipa, whatever that little chick or pop R&B uh, singer or whatever her name is. Uh, hey, man, I don't even think you wrote that post, to be honest. Oh, this is not the guy I did a song with. You didn't write that post. Your label wrote that post. How much you want to bet? But nah, I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do is say is the baby help your career out, okay? Your label, seeing that the uh, 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 a rapper, artist, or whatever, musician like the baby can help your career out. And you're a good musician too. And you, you're hot. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to just tell the truth. You're you're nice looking. Anyway, it's not all about that. You got okay music. I checked your music out in like 2018. And you needed somebody like the baby. So please. And then she didn't say nothing disrespectful. So shout out to uh, uh, Lua Deepa, Dua Lipa, Lipa. And uh, Mr. Breezy, now it's your turn, buddy. Hey, <laughs> Breezy, you know I love you, Chris Brown. You know I love you, man. You the best performer. You like, like, I do a song with Chris Brown. I wouldn't really do, I probably wouldn't even do a song with the baby. Maybe I would, because I like the baby. I like Tory Lanez. You know, um, uh, Maybe I'll do a song with the little uh, chick. Do a, no, I probably wouldn't. Look, though, I'll do a song with uh, Chris Brown, though. Chris Brown is one of the best performers ever, okay? He's the next Michael Jackson, and at the same time, he got bragging rights when it comes to his name. Sea Breezy! No cap. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Chris Brown, though, how you gonna tell this nigga to just uh, perform... You know, uh, 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 do a thing in Galveston State or something. That ain't what you do, nigga. You know you got them amazing ass moves, Chris Brown. That nigga might do a Michael Jackson spin, a Chris Brown, uh, a triple spin with a flip to go along with that and end up in another dimension and come back as a, a fucking uh, panther, black panther, nigga. <laughs> so, Chris Brown, you can't talk, man. You know the baby put on some good performances. A lot of rappers don't move around like that. They be standing in one spot like, yeah, I'm too cool, and yeah, I'm a thug, gangster. Nah. The baby do his shit, man. Give the baby his props, all right? No cap. Okay, so last person. Hey, Mr. Little Nas X. You thought I forgot about you, buddy? No, I didn't. Can you please help a, a real one out in a time of need? Can you help the baby out, uh, Little Nas X? Can you tell the uh, fans that what little baby said was uh, it? Maybe it was kind of like you know he ain't really care about nobody feelings. I feel like he was wrong about that. And then it is good to uh, practice safe sex. You know me, I'm ratchet, and I still do that. I still do it. You guys, you got, you got to, you have to. And that was kind of like heartless. I ain't gonna lie, and not heartless. He was just like, come on, he's high as fuck. He's a rapper. What you think? The baby talked about killing somebody in Walmart. Y'all think y'all care about him saying this shit that much instead of uh, bragging about killing somebody in Walmart? Stupid ass niggas. Y'all fucking backwards and retarded. But guess what, though? I feel you guys. And as a matter of fact, Lil Nas says, like, back on you, though, dude. Are you going to help my boy out? Real talk. Because I could tell y'all uh, some little... I'm going to give y'all a little, a little scoop on Lil Nas X. And then I'm going to get back to my boy, the baby. And I didn't mean for this video to be the long. Guess what, though? Lil Nas X is not who you guys think he is. I know somebody who knows somebody who knows Lil Nas X. And as a matter of fact, there's somebody who knows somebody who knows Lil Nas X. He knows Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X is a cool-ass little nigga, man. Every night, or not every night, because, you know, he be doing his little shows and his little tours and his little promotions and all that little shit and all that, you know, on the road. But when he come home, guess who he go to? A bad-ass she, you might think she's an IG model, model nigga. No cap. I want Lil Nas X chick. I didn't see his chick. I seen his one-year-old son that he never told you guys about. Yes. 
You think I'm capping? Little Nas X got a one-year-old son, and he's a cute little guy. He looked just like his daddy, Little Nas X. For real. And to be honest, the homie also told me to confirm what I was seeing. I, I ain't going to lie. I kind of felt bad because I was like, dang, how did I know this? Lil Nas X be getting pushed to do this uh, stuff in the industry. He's a team player. That's the thing about Lil Nas X, though. He's a team player, and sometimes he will do what the lab music labels say to do at the same time, though. He don't be wanting to do some of that shit. He got a badass, uh, that might be his little fiance or something like that. And he got a one-year-old son that he haven't told you guys about. So you guys think about that, and then you will uh, understand where I'm coming from and the LGBTQT community, look, you guys, you guys know that uh, the baby's not uh, being uh, offensive in no type of way. You know why? Because he knew, hey, he's not even thinking about this. He's thinking about his fans. He's not saying, hey, which fans gangster? Which fans not gangster as a skateboarder? No, he's not. He No, y'all fans. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, like, he's, come on. He made the little video on IG of his little post trying to tell y'all, you know, when he be speaking in that real deep voice, <laughs> that nigga the baby crazy. Shout out to the baby, man. Shout out to the whole Charlotte, man. For real. R.P. Uh, Cole Camhart. You already know what it is, man. Shout out uh, to uh, 704 Chop. No cap. You know, uh, Lil Murden. Lil Murden, you do your thing, man. Hey, you gonna, y'all are gonna pop soon. No cap, man. The whole uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I think Lil Young Scooter, he from somewhere around there. But anyway, since we got so much love for our neighbors, you see how I took up for uh, Lil Nas X in my other video? Go check my other video about Lil Nas X. When I was like, is Lil Nas X cloud chasing? Something like that. I got love for Lil Nas X. I'm showing you guys that he know when it comes to the things that his uh, label make him do that you guys absolutely have to have love for him. You guys need to know more about the community that you're in, though. And everything will, uh, will go good for you. So guess what? We love Lil Nas X. We love all y'all. It's no discrimination. So stop acting and capping. Give my boy the baby. Let him perform at the T-Mobile uh, uh, um, uh, sh uh, uh, concert. Shout out Young Thug. But nobody don't care about no damn concert, man. Y'all capping. So, look, if we are showing love to all these people, you think I'm not going to... If I take her for Lil Nas X, you think I ain't going to take her for uh, the baby? Yeah, you know, I'll take that job. For real. Leave the baby alone. Y'all let this nigga get away with a million things in a few, in a few years. This nigga did not... Most of his fans out. <laughs> for real then rob promoters who owe the money on camera and y'all and his bodyguards knocking niggas out on camera y'all ain't say shit about that though his bodyguards knocking chicks out most of them uh them stories i ain't even read on because i feel like most of them was cap but most of that shit was real though and y'all didn't say nothing so i think y'all should uh tell the baby just to just get better ain't no canceling him i told y'all y'all ain't canceling uh tory lane's well, look what Tory Lane's doing. And he going to keep going strong. Him and the baby. Understand where young Israel coming from when he be coming with these prophecies. Okay? Or speaking things into existence. Because you know what it is with me. Anyway, though, y'all already know what it is. Stop bullshitting. I talk real talk with the real talkers. If you're a real talker, you got to talk real talk with me. The real talker. I, you are. Yeah. Subscribe.